this is really something very, very special because we believe in civil rights and we believe in civil unions. And that's what we're going to do today. in America. We believe in what Abraham Lincoln said at Gettysburg in 1863 in 272 words. We're a government of the people and by the people and for the people and it shall not perish from this earth. Today, thanks to your work, thanks to your work and the work of thousands of men and women, gay, straight, bi and trans, young people and seniors, faith communities, proud sisters and brothers and parents and grandparents across this state's 102 counties, we're here. Our history has been one of centuries of struggle to become more perfect, to change our laws and our society, to expand justice under the law for all Americans, regardless of race or gender or national origin or religious belief or sexual orientation. And although we celebrate another milestone in that struggle today, our works still continues. We must continue to fight for our freedom, both within the world and within our country as well. But there are forces, there are forces, powerful forces who want to turn back the clock, who still actively brace into intolerance and work to take away the rights that generations of Americans have fought to protect. And we, we must not let them succeed. Each of us, each of us must go forth today proud of what we have achieved, achieved here, but recommitted to doing those things that we must do to expand equal rights and equal justice under the law. We must leave here proudly and say it can get better. It will get better and that we are each going to play our part. We will stand shoulder to shoulder in the defense of the values that define America. That work is not always easy. It's not always glamorous, and it's not always fun. But it's the work that we must do if we want to honor the sacrifices of those who've gone before us and to leave a better world for those who come after us. We must leave here today recommitted in both word and deed to make a more perfect union and to ensure that the will of the people will always be the law of this land. Thank you. It was uh, Victor Hugo, and I'm going to paraphrase, who told us that nothing can withstand the force of an idea whose time has come. And this is certainly the idea whose time has come. You know. You know, it makes us very proud as Americans to see our evolution as a nation, how the concepts and the notions of justice and liberty keep evolving through the generations. And this is our moment in our time, because justice looks just a little bit better in Illinois today. I first signed on as the sponsor of the bill in the Senate a couple years ago, and it hit the Peoria papers, and uh, the news was out, and uh, so I naturally had phone calls, uh, both pro and, and con. But uh, recently, as we... Uh, made a concerted effort to pass this uh, in November. I had another call from uh, a person who was uh, of a different, uh, different mindset than I was. And uh, I got to a point where I was just tired of trying to make all the legal arguments and all the, the, the different moral arguments, and I had to really just kind of open my heart to him, and I said, you know, really what this is about is that I have a gay daughter, and I see this through her eyes and it's opened a whole new world to me, and so it's because of her that I support this. Because as a father, it didn't make sense to me with three daughters why two of them would have different rights than the one. And so this is an important issue from a family perspective. And it's an issue that we should be celebrating, not hiding away. And so let us in Illinois from this time forward celebrate the diversity that we have in this state and celebrate the unions that uh, both gay and lesbians have in this state.
Well, this is the moment. This is the moment that uh, I think long after we're gone, people will remember us in the, on the 31st of January in the year 2011, that we came together here in Illinois, the land of Lincoln, and made history.